Good morning, everybody. So it's Monday today, and I took off work today just because I have a lot of days to use up. And I was like, let's take a Monday off, and I want to do some fun little projects today. So yeah, I do also like, I was just thinking about it, and I was like, I should have taken a, like today off to clean the house, but I decided that this week, each day after work, I'm going to pick one room to like, I don't know, to focus on and just deep clean. So yeah, because who wants to take a day off of work to clean? You know what I mean? Anyway, so today I'm going to do some fun little projects. I want to make citrus candles. I've seen a lot of people make them actually recently where you like dig out... Um, the inside of a lemon, like half of a lemon, and then you pour wax into it and put a wick in and let it dry and you have a candle. I'm gonna do it with a lemon and an orange. And I have lemon and orange essential oil scents, so I feel like that would be cool to put inside of it. And then I also want to make some lemon, lime, and orange garland just to hang up, just to make it summery in here, cause you know, like, almost it's almost summer time right it's almost summer time we're getting there so I want to have that ready and if you dry them out like well enough you can save them so that's the idea I also want to make Biscoff banana bread I have Biscoff like leftover spread and uh, Biscoff cookies and I found a recipe to make Biscoff banana bread so I'd like to make that because I have some bananas that are going bad and it would be nice to have for breakfast. So there's a glare in my glasses, I just realized. Cool. Um, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so anyway. I'm going to go to Michael's right now and get Wix. Um, I want, oh, another DIY. If I can find smooth jars, like all the mason jars I can find at Target have like the writing, or like the indents on them of... I don't know like they say there's ridges around it's not like completely smooth around the outside I want to find a smooth jar and mod podge some dried flowers onto it for like a little lantern because they have little tea lights I can put tea lights is that what they're called tea light candles yeah to put inside of them so that would be fun I also have some taper candles that I was going to I wanted to paint but I'm not sure what I want to paint on them yet and also I don't have any holders for them, so that might be a project for another day. Was there anything else I wanted to do today? Probably, but that's what we're going to start with. So I'm going to browse around Michael's for a bit. And then I have to go to Target because Cody's phone charger broke, so I'm going to get a phone charger. I also need an HDMI cable so I can edit my videos in my little office area because I stole that one for my switch and I'd like to just have two so I don't have to worry about moving them back and forth. And yeah, probably browse around Target too. I thought about going to Trader Joe's but we'll see how much time we have because I don't know how much time I'm gonna wanna browse around Michael's, so let's get shopping. Okay, I am back and I spent quite a bit of money, but I'm very excited and I wanna get started on these, but I'll just show you what I got. So, oh, I got some command 
strips because they were on sale and we were just talking about how we need some to hang up the picture I got Cody. So I got those. Here's the twine for the uh, garland. And then also for the garland, I got, well, um, I did steal an orange from my mom. And then I also got a bag of lemons because um, I'm gonna make some of them into candles, but also I need some for the garland. And then I got one lime. None of the like things I saw called for a lime, but I thought it would be cool to uh, add a lime in there for some extra color, because green's my favorite color. All right, that's all the stuff for the garland. And then, hold on one second. I'm gonna put all the stuff that goes together in the same bags for each project. Smart thinking. Okay, and then for the little dried flower, pressed dried flower jars, I couldn't find any jars that like didn't have the lids attached that were smooth. These were the only ones I could find in the dollar section, so I thought I would try these out, see if I could maybe take off the lid, or maybe it will look cool with the lid just like chilling to the side. I don't know, but that's the only thing I could find. It did, it did end up being the cheapest option too, so that's good. And then I have Mod Podge, Mod Podge, sorry, I always say that wrong, and some paintbrushes. I was thinking of using this one to like paint it on there just because it's nice and big, but I got these just like in general for other DIY projects that I wanna do. Oh, here's my super glue. That's to glue my camera. Um, oh, I don't know if I said this. I think it was in the last vlog, but I dropped, or my camera fell off of the counter the other day and the microphone busted off of its holder. So like everything's still good, except I just need to super glue the microphone back onto its holder. So I got that for that. And then, Michael's had really good dried florals and they were all like on sale, so that's nice, like half off. So I got these cute little ones. I thought I could also put these inside of the lemon candles just because they're yellow and I feel like that'd be cute just sitting on top. I found these purple ones. So cute. I also got these blue ones because these ones were on sale too. Very pretty. And I think I got one more. Yeah, I got these like little dandelion looking, dandelion looking things. So that will be a fun little project. Oh wait, did I get more? Oh no. Okay, that's all for that. And then here are the wicks for the candles. I just bought a bunch because maybe I will venture out and make more candles in the future. Oh, and then I decided I'm gonna paint some taper candles, okay? Uh, yeah, so I got this like Super, super, like, fine paintbrush to paint the taper candles. And I think what I want to do is put toadstool mushrooms on one and lemons on the other. I did think about doing strawberries, but maybe I could do lemons and strawberries on the same one. That might be cute, but I can't decide. So we will, we will see about that. Uh, and then I also got these taper candle holders from Michaels. They were cheap and I don't have any and I needed a place for them to dry. So let's see if they fit. I really hope they do. And then I got to get a move on with this. With my... Oh no. Okay, so it fits in this one perfectly. Like... That's perfect, but this one, it's too big inside. So I'm wondering if I can like find clay or something somewhere, but we won't be able to use that one today, possibly. I might be able to like push some tissue paper in there or something, but we'll see. That was the one I liked the most too, so good thing I got both. Okay. What else did I get? Anything else for projects? Oh yeah, all the paint 
for the project. We got yellow, white, green. This is if I want to do strawberries, and then this is for the mushrooms. And I got an HDMI cable, Cody's phone charger cable, and this book. Do I need another book? No, but I really want to read that before I watch the show. Okay, let's get a start on this garland because I think that's going to take the longest. Oh, and I also got this cream soda Olipop. It's so yummy, but I don't think I'm going to have this today. I'm going to try a different one later, but I'll show you. It's not Olipop either. Sorry. While those are in the oven, because it's going to be hours in there, I'm going to start cutting those and scooping them out for the candles. Okay, the candles turned out so cute. Um, it takes a lot more beeswax than I thought for each candle. I had to like remake some three times, but it is what it is, but they're so cute. And now I'm going to do these lanterns. I really think this isn't gonna take that long. I hope anyway, but I gotta figure out if I like these jars. They're probably, oh, whatever. I wonder if this can come off. What the? Oh wait, what the? That was so easy. <laughs> okay. Well, perfect. I'm going to start with one, see how I like it, and maybe make another one if I like it a lot. But wow, I'm surprised by how easy that was, and this is literally perfect.
Okay, doing a little try on haul. I got this shirt from Walmart. I think I showed all these before, but I wanted to try them on. It was like $7.97 and it has a cute little toadstool mushroom on, which obviously you know I'm obsessed with. So I will be wearing this a lot. And I'm wearing a size small that's my normal size. And yeah, I, I just love this shirt. All right, this one's from Target. I was planning on wearing this with leggings but it also is kind of cute tucked in like this um, it's super like it's almost like pajama material where it's like super lightweight and soft and I feel like this is perfect for lounging at home or for like a casual outfit um, I love the colors on it and this one I got in a size medium just because it's all they had could have definitely done a small but I really like how comfy it is and it's cute I love the colors all right if you've been around for a while you know these are my favorite t-shirts. I own every single color of them. They're just the $5 wild fable crop top, but this color is everything. This is my favorite color ever, this shade of green. So I'm obsessed and I love it so much. All right, this is a swim cover up and I am obsessed with it. I feel like, I feel like a mermaid in it, honestly. They also have one that's like yellow, pink, orange, and white, but this color suited me a lot better. And I love it. I cannot wait to wear it over a swimsuit at the cabin or on the lake, at the beach. It's going to be, it's so fun. I just love it so much. And also you could wear this as just like regular crop top too or regular pants if you had the right like underwear underneath. But it's so cute. I love it so much. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Got these Wild Fable shorts. I love how they fit. This is a size four, my normal size, and they just fit perfectly. I love the color, I love the style, the fit. They are just amazing. And they were $18, so pretty pretty good deal. Okay, these overalls are from Old Navy. They're like way too big right now, but I'm trying to figure out, I'm having trouble tightening the straps, but once they're tightened up like this, I think they're going to be so cute. I love how they're a baggy fit and I just think with like some tennis shoes and a baseball cap or something, I just feel like these are going to be so fun and cute for summer, fall, all of it. Okay, I'm having trouble with these straps too. I got to figure them out. But again, from Old Navy, just a cute little pair of overalls. Perfect for summer. Okay. And last but not least, this black pair of overalls, the straps, again, they do go up. They're just really difficult and I have to get some help. But these are going to be so cute for summer too. And I just, I love the color black too. So always a staple in my wardrobe. And that concludes this little haul. But hope you enjoyed and I will link all the items below that are still in stock. Okay, I finished painting these. Look how cute. This one has all the mushrooms on it. 
I mean, they're not perfect. I'm not an artist, so, you know, but... And this one has lemons and strawberries on it. Cute. One thing I will say is you have to put a ton of layers on and wait for it to dry, so it is kind of a process, but... I could have done more layers, but I just like didn't feel like it. So here's what we got, and I think that they are super, super cute. A fun little project to do. Okay. Here is the garland. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this or not. It is very pretty, but I put them in the oven for even longer, like an hour longer than it said, and they're still like a little wet. So I'm not really sure if I was supposed to like pat them dry or something and I didn't. But I'm going to leave it sit out overnight, and if it's not dry in the morning, I might have to throw it away. So that might have been a fail. Not really sure what I did wrong, but it was fun nonetheless, and maybe it'll still work out. I don't know. But the last thing I'm going to do before I end off this vlog is try out my lantern, if I can find a little tea light. And yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, here it is. It's so cute. I just put a fake tea light in because I got scared when I put a real one in. How adorable. Let's go look at it in the dark. Okay, and that's a wrap. I am going to make lunches for work tomorrow and then go to bed. Probably read a little bit first and then go to bed, but thank you all for coming along with me on my adventurous little day, and I will see you next time.